Now, you mentioned the, the halfway house before. You've been to prison before? Yeah, I've been in prison. I was in and out of jail. Started as a juvenile, feel me? Not glorifying it enough like that, but I just, I, it took me a long time to just learn, learn my lesson, you feel me? I just thought everything was a game. How long did you, how, how much time did you do in prison? I mean, I did little juvenile bits here and there, like little six month, 12 months. Then it started going to like juvenile, turn into adult cases. When I was turning 18, I probably did like a couple county bids, like nine and a half to 12 and stuff like that. But then I did uh, two and a half years of state, you feel me? And then after that, that's when I kind of like chilled off the jail shit. Did you rap inside? That's where I started. I started when I was upstate. Like, it took me a while, but I started really fucking like getting into that shit up there. Like, I always knew I could sing, but I never really took that shit serious. You feel me? I would be singing other people's shit, but as opposed to me writing some shit, it took me to go up there and see other guys singing and rapping and shit. I'm like, oh, I could do that shit. You feel me? It's like sound cool, like to be a singer, nigga. That's not like talking about like no lovey dovey shit. Like you could do what you want to do. You feel me? That's when I like really started getting into that shit, like upstate though. Now, in regards to prison, what are some do's and don'ts inside <laughs> prison? Just stay in your lane, you heard me? Like, just, like, don't try to go in there fraud, because niggas going to pull your card, you feel me? That's one. That's, like, the main thing. Just do, don't try to be nobody. Just be yourself, you feel me? Like, just stay in your lane. Like, just, all that extra shit that you see in the movies is just for the movies, you feel me? Like, niggas get killed in jail for doing dumb shit. So just stay in your lane, like. It should be cool, be easy, you feel me? You don't even gotta talk to a motherfucker, like, just say it, say it to yourself. Like, motherfuckers be like, he weird, but that's cool. Like, I'm going home at the end of the day. Like, I'm gonna do my bed and go the fuck home. Just just chill, you feel me? That's what I, that's the do's and don'ts. Craziest shit you've seen while locked up? I don't know, I seen a nigga hang himself. That was probably the craziest shit I seen, you feel me? He was young too, and he was about to go home, so niggas ain't know what the fuck was going through his mind. Like, damn, the motherfucker just was about to leave. Why he hang himself? But that shit was the craziest shit I seen, though. He was a young boy, too. Now, when you were doing your, your longest bid in there, what kept you motivated? Man, for real, for real, music. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't had nothing to look forward to. Like, when I came home from upstate, I ain't really had, I ain't had no crib to go to, you feel me? I was stuck in a halfway house because I couldn't find, like, a home plan and shit. So I was just upstate, like, just looking forward to the music shit, like, and everybody was in there, like, telling me, like, yo, you really hot, like, you really gonna get signed and all this other shit, like, and I was just looking forward to that, like, maybe, like, like, if niggas up here are saying that shit, like, like, some of the realest motherfuckers, like, people will say, like, niggas that's up here with life and all of that shit, if they say that shit, like, yo, you could hot and you could, and these motherfuckers listening to my shit, and they asking me, requesting shit, like, I felt like I could do that shit on the streets, like, the streets ain't nothing compared to this shit in jail, you feel me? That was motivation to me, the music. Like, that's all I could say.